How pretty are these pink flowers? Supposedly those are gonna turn into strawberries. This is designed to help with erosion and we're going to eventually put more across the yard here. But for now, this is what we got. We don't have enough dirt to fill this up today and strawberries have shallow roots. So I'm just gonna put some logs in the bottom before we put the dirt in to take up some of that room. The five bags of dirt that we had was not enough, so we made a quick trip to Home Depot to get some more. Fortunately, it's on sale at our Home Depot right now, so we got four for $10 oh, bags uh, of dirt, uh, uh, which uh, I thought was a decent yeah, price. Um, uh, uh, uh. We're gonna get our strawberries today. We got two different kinds of strawberries here. These were really pretty and the girls and I liked them. They have a pink blossom on them. No idea what kind of strawberry they actually make. Um, let's see here. They are an ever bearing strawberry, which is good. And they're, uh, they're container strawberries, but we're gonna put them in this bed anyway. We'll see what happens. It looks like they're trying to send out runners, so I think it'll be fine. And then the other one that we got is just a regular strawberry. It's also a container strawberry, but it should have white blossoms. And I'm thinking it'll look really pretty mixed in there with the pink strawberries. Get out of my garden bed. 
So in case you didn't know how strawberries grow, they actually have what's called a crown underneath the ground and they spread by sending out these things called runners and these will turn into new strawberry plants. So even if we just plant a few strawberries in this bed, they should take it over um, probably within the next year. And that's what I want them to do. I want them to, to spread out. Let's see if I can see this. So this is the strawberry crown. If you can see that middle part there. And it's already sending out runners. So I'm gonna pop it out of this container and plant them individually. So I'm just gonna break this up into pieces. Kind of little wads of plants. But I'm gonna make sure that that middle part it's going to be kind of just barely above the ground, barely above soil level. And strawberry roots are pretty shallow, so those sticks and logs that we put in here won't matter. So I'm just going to do the same thing with this other strawberry bit basket. We're just going to pull that out and kind of separate these little plants. So this is a really good example of a runner. It's got this long thing out and then here on the end it looks like another strawberry plant is growing. And that is exactly what we want and that's how it's going to fill up this bed. So to add some color in here I'm actually going to also plant some zinnias. I love zinnias. I love the way they look when they come up. They're nice and tall and the pollinators adore them. So I'm going to sprinkle some of these cut and cut and cut and come again zinnia seeds. And if you grow zinnias, when you harvest them at the end of the year, you can, or at, by the end of the year when they dry out, you can actually save those flower heads. And this is the seed part of it. This is, this is some that I ordered had really a couple of years ago now and I'm still working on it. But this year, a lot of what I planted out there with my cucumbers was from last year's flowers. And then to add some function to our beauty, because these strawberries aren't really going to make strawberries for Probably a year. There's a few on the little pink ones, but they won't be really productive until next year. So we're going to sprinkle some Italian. Oops. I'm going to sprinkle some Italian large leaf basil. I didn't plant any basil this year. I think I might have planted some cinnamon basil in one of my stump potters back. Stump, stump planters back there but I didn't really plant a lot of it. The bees also really like basil and basil and strawberries grow pretty well together. So this is what basil seeds look like and I'm just gonna do a light sprinkle kind of through here and by the end of the summer we'll be having basil in our spaghetti sauce. And herbs are, are some of those things that I always plan to harvest and save for next year and dry them and all that kind of stuff. And that I never really do. So maybe this year will be different. We're going to put a fence around this because if we don't, the chickens will be in here right away. Here. <laughs> Doesn't really matter where we start, I guess, but, you know, just start somewhere that makes sense. Do you want to have it all the way up or do you want to... Yeah, it needs to go sort of up to the top of this. Okay. Maybe even taller than that because we're going to get up there and they're going to...
Jake had a good idea. Since the chickens won't be able to get to this bed, it'll be a really good place to plant some sunflowers and they'll look really pretty along the back edge of it. So I have some mammoth sunflowers. Um, this one was pretty. This is a summertime mix and it's got all colors, all different colors of some sunflowers. I thought those would be pretty. All right, we had these. And then this is called Velvet Queen, and it, it, the picture on it, it's like a brownish one. It's really pretty, too. So I just got a couple of seeds of most of these, and we're going to stick them in the back of this bed, and I think it's going to be really, really pretty when it grows. It's been almost a week since we've planted these. Everything is looking great. We have a little row of sunflowers coming up in the back. Look, I think that's a new flower. Looks really good. Got some zinnias coming up. That's what those little green things are. I honestly don't remember what basil looks like, so there might be basil coming up. I just can't tell. As always, if you like what you see, subscribe hit the like button hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything thanks for watching